masturbation, self-pleasure, solo sex. It's something nearly every man experiences, yet few ever talk about. So let's finally clear the air and the confusion. I'm Dr. Emma Blake, urologist and men's health specialist. And today, we're going to take a science-backed look at masturbation. Not judgment, not shame, just honest evidence-based answers to the most common questions I hear every single day. We'll cover the real benefits, the potential downsides, and the biggest myths that cause men unnecessary stress. Let's begin. Over 90% of men report masturbating regularly. That's not surprising because solo sex has real measurable benefits. When you orgasm, your body releases feel-good chemicals, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, endorphins. These boost your mood, help you relax, improve sleep, and even sharpen your focus. In fact, masturbation is one of the safest forms of sexual expression. No risk of STIs, no pressure to perform, and no emotional entanglements unless you want them. But beyond pleasure, it helps you understand your own arousal, so you can better communicate your needs with a partner. Now let's address the myths. Myth number one, masturbation makes you go blind or grow hair on your palms. Let's be clear, this is pure fiction. If that were true, most of the population would be walking around blind with fur-covered hands. These myths stem from old moral teachings, not science. They're designed to shame, not inform. If you hold personal or religious beliefs about masturbation, that's your right. But medically speaking, those physical consequences are completely false. Myth number two, masturbation causes erectile dysfunction. Actually, it's quite the opposite. When you masturbate, the muscles of your pelvic floor contract. These same muscles are vital for strong erections and satisfying orgasms. In fact, regular stimulation may support better pelvic muscle tone, just like targeted exercise does for the rest of your body. But there is an important caveat, and that's pornography. Over the past two decades, there's been a sharp rise in young men experiencing performance anxiety and difficulty maintaining erections during sex. And that trend mirrors the rise of high-speed porn access. Here's the problem. Pornography can create unrealistic expectations about how sex looks and feels. The result? Your brain starts to associate arousal with screens, fantasy, or extreme content, not real intimacy. This mismatch can cause desensitization, performance anxiety, and even erectile dysfunction in otherwise healthy men. So if you notice issues with arousal or confidence, ask yourself, am I relying on porn more than I want to? Reducing or eliminating it may help reset your brain's arousal response. Myth number three, masturbation reduces your sensitivity and makes it harder to climax. This one is partially true, but not for the reason most people think. If you always use the same exact technique, grip, or pressure. Your body may become accustomed to only responding to that specific pattern. That's called sensory habituation. So when you're with a partner and the sensations are different, it can be harder to reach orgasm. The solution? Try to vary your technique. Use pressure and rhythm that more closely resembles partnered sex. Avoid overstimulation with high intensity devices unless that's something you also use with a partner. Myth number four, you can masturbate too much. The answer depends on your life. If masturbation is interfering with your work, relationships, social life, or sense of control, that's a red flag. Likewise, if you're skipping intimacy with a partner just to masturbate, that could signal a deeper issue. But if it's part of your routine, helps you relax, or relieve stress, and it's not harming anything else, then no, it's not too much. Interestingly, in some men with chronic testicular or pelvic pain, urologists may recommend masturbation a few times a week. It can reduce muscular tension and relieve emotional stress, similar to physical therapy. Myth number five, 
Masturbation means you're unhappy in your relationship. Not true. Many men in loving, connected relationships still masturbate, either alone or with their partner. It's a personal form of sexual expression that doesn't have to compete with intimacy. In some cases, it can actually enhance a relationship by relieving pressure or supporting sexual health when schedules or stress get in the way. And myth number six, masturbation lowers testosterone. There is no scientific evidence to support that claim. In fact, during orgasm, testosterone levels can briefly spike and then return to baseline. There's no long-term drop in testosterone just from healthy sexual activity. This myth goes back to ancient times when warriors and athletes believed abstinence would make them more aggressive or competitive. But modern research shows no clear benefit and no need to avoid masturbation for hormonal reasons. So what's the takeaway? Masturbation is a natural, safe, and often beneficial part of male sexuality. It only becomes a concern when it interferes with your life, relationships, or emotional health. If you struggle with guilt, anxiety, or compulsion around solo sex, consider speaking to a therapist or doctor who understands sexual health. You deserve accurate information, not fear, shame, or confusion. And always remember, taking care of your body, including your sexual health, is a form of self-respect. You're worth it.